This is the Wu-Ting 60 HE. It is one of the greatest keyboards for gaming, but how does it sound like stock? Yeah, not, not that good. But we can fix that. You see, it's really not that bad. I think the Wu-Ting 60 HE is honestly a really good pre-built keyboard. But what if we upgraded it? You see, I could have slapped a custom band on it and it would have been upgraded, but that would have been too easy. And too slay. So in this video today, we will be upgrading this Wooting 60 he to make it the best custom gaming keyboard ever. Uh, until someone makes a better video on this. But before that, I gotta pay the bills with the sponsor break. This video is sponsored by Private Internet Access. Private Internet Access allows private internet surfing with one press of a button. Private Internet Access hides your IP and encrypts your internet connection. They have world-class servers spanning 83 different countries and more importantly, every state in the US, ensuring you a fast and reliable connection anywhere you go. Private Internet Access also works with all major streaming services so that you get unrestricted access to all your favorite type of content, even though they are region locked. Plus, I personally found a lot of cool features that I actually use myself, which is pretty cool. You know, I, they didn't even tell me to promote this. Private Internet Access is available for all platforms, Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and it can be used to 10 devices consecutively. If you use my link, you can actually get a two-year plan at an 83% discount and 4 months free. That means it's only $2.03 a month. That's really cheap. If you think this is too good to be true, click my link below and you'll find out for yourself. Thank you PIA for sponsoring this video and back to the video. So let's start by identifying what is wrong with this keyboard. So the few things that are holding this keyboard back is its plastic case, its undoop switches, and its stabilizers which are pretty mediocre. So first, we gotta change the case. Using a plastic case can make your keyboard sound hollow. And that sounds cheap. People cope by putting foam in it, but it's still gonna have that plastic sound to it. You see, the good thing about the Wooting 60 HE is that it uses a really traditional 60% layout. Which means... This is a Tofu 60, an all aluminum 60% case. You may have seen me use this in one of my older videos. This one I found lying around collecting dust in someone else's house. And we'll be using this for the case. But before that, we have to dismantle the Wooting. So for those of you who are following at home or in school, here's how you do it. Remove the keycaps with a tool. Or you could use your hands. I personally did that. No oh, shit. And once that's done, we can move on to the screws. For the screws, here are where you can find them. Pretty simple Phillips head screwdriver. Next, lift off the PCB, plate, and switches off the board, and you can separate them apart. Fun fact, all things come with inner foam, and the foam is actually really good, high-quality memory foam material. Also inside the case, you can find don't screw it up, as if they knew that we were going to open it. Also somehow mocking my leg. Remove the switches. Once you're done with the switches, you can flip over the plate to reveal even more screws, holding the plate together with the PCB. There are about 8 screws, and here they are. Separate the keyboard. Every Wooting comes with plate foam as well, which is really nice actually. Keep the foam for later as we're going to be using it. And here is the PCB. Wooting probably is one of the craziest PCBs as every graphic you see here is actually from a founder that bought the original Signature Edition keyboard. So yeah, every one of them is actually placed by someone who bought the keyboard. Now that we're done taking apart the keyboard, we can put it together in the new case. We start with the memory foam that was included with the Wooting. And the plate and PCB setup. Screw everything into the case. Okay, quick sidetrack. All the Wooting switches actually have magnets in them, so they stick together when you're trying to loop them. It's pretty funny. I loop the switches and back loop the springs. And put the switches back into the keyboard. Oh, I forgot to mention about the stabilizers. Um, stabilizers come pre-looped. They're actually more than smooth enough, but I added more loop myself because I thought it could be smoother. And for the keycaps, I'm going with white drop keycaps. I think they're called DCX keycaps or something. I, okay, honestly, I thought these keycaps were really good, but after looking at them in real life, uh, they're, they're really average keycaps. They kind of feel like really overpriced white keycaps. But with all the keycaps in, this is the build of the Wu-Ting 60 HE+, Plus, as I would like to call it. Yeah, this keyboard's just white, honestly, it's just, it's just white. But that's what I was going for, an elegant looking keyboard which could also game really well, aka a sleeper keyboard. And with that done, here's how the keyboard actually sounds like.
All right, and that's pretty much it. If you like this video, do subscribe because we're so close to hitting 500,000 subscribers, which is half a million subscribers, which is a quarter of two million subscribers. Follow me on my socials down below, especially Twitter. I'm most active on Twitter. And I'll wait for the next video where we upgrade the ISS. So some of you might have known or seen on Twitter that I recently went through surgery and I can't walk anymore. Or at least for the time being. If you're interested in what happened or how I ended up like this, uh, I will have a second channel video linked up here, you know, the small little exclamation mark. And uh, yeah, this portion is just to let you guys know that I will be posting a bit less on YouTube, as you can see from the previous months. But I'll definitely be streaming a lot more at twitch.tv slash because I literally can't go anywhere. And yeah, follow my Twitter if you want to keep updates with uh, what's going on in my life. Other than that, thank you so much for watching this video and peace.